Hey beauty gang, welcome back to the channel. So I did want to share some travel tips with you guys. Um, on my way to Playa de Carmen, I did have a transfer through Mexico City and through Cancun. Um, but I did get a COVID test on my way over there because I did get conflict and information with the airport and through like um, Homeland Security and the CDC and all those different things. So I did get a COVID test on my way over there. Also, I did um, download my immigration form and they did provide it to me on my way through the airport and on the airport. So you're gonna have to go through immigration. You're gonna have to um, keep that immigration card with you um, through your whole trip with your passport. And as I said in my Mexico City video, make sure you keep your passport somewhere safe. Make sure you keep it with you at all times. Also, um, if I am traveling by myself, I always travel first class only because it's the safest to me. Um, I always bring my own little mini blanket and my own pillow. Now, first class does provide that, but I don't know if that stuff is clean. It does come in a concealed container, but I don't know if it's clean. So to be safe, I just bring my own stuff. I dress in layers and I wear socks because it is extremely cold to me on the plane. I do sanitize the seats before I sit on them. I don't know when the last time they've been clean. I do spray, though I bring the little packs of Lysol that you can get the, on the go, or sometimes I bring the whole one. Um, if I can get like a three or four ounce one that I can bring with me, I do bring it with me and I do sanitize everything that I'm gonna touch. I bring tissue with me because the bathrooms, uh, you know, everybody's using them. I bring my Lysol and my tissues for the bathroom because they're usually not kept clean. You know, you have urine everywhere and your your shoes are in the urine. You know, touch urine that's in the bathroom. So when I get off the plane, I do spray my shoes, the bottom of my shoes with Lysol. Like I do the most and it's only for my protection. And I'm just sharing these tips with you guys. Hey my beauties, I am at the Cancun, Mexico airport on my way home. And this airport seems to be huge. I didn't have a whole far walk. Um, I'm flying Delta C-16. So as soon as I came through customs, I went through one store and my flight was right here. And I wanted to just show you guys a little of it. Um, I'm not gonna walk away because I have my things here and uh, <laughs> I don't want nobody to take my seat. I'm a little early. I love being early and do y'all know customs took my, my butter knife. I got to set like my utensils, right? Butter knife, knife, fork, spork, uh, uh, straw. And it's all like, you know, uh, uh, metal. They took my stuff, y'all. I'm like, y'all done tripped out. I don't went to Mexico City. Why y'all tripping Cancun? Like, why y'all tripping about the damn butter knife? But they took it. I knew they was going to take my water, but... They took my butter knife. They messed up my set, y'all. They tripping. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. I'm like I said, I'm not gonna go far because I don't wanna leave my things unattended. Because, you know, when you're flying international, you have all different kind of people on the plane. Everybody clean is not your clean. So just make sure that you check with the CDC and the guidelines for the hotel. And, and shout out to, um, passport valid this was my first time traveling with them and i had an amazing time um on this trip you guys will see my Playa de carmen um video of the hotel and some things that we did with them and i will go on any trip that they have ever again because i had an amazing time um but these are just some travel tips i wanted to share with you guys also the group that i was with and the hilton they did supply the COVID testing um, on my way back uh, home to Los Angeles. Um, they did supply that. Also at the Hilton, they offered um, COVID insurance. It was $35 and I would recommend anybody get any type of insurances that protect you for travel, 
staying at a hotel. Even I even bought the travel insurance through Delta only because I need every aspect of if something happens to me while I'm traveling international, I need to be able to stay somewhere where I don't have to pay extra money, extra expenses that I'm going to have to incur. I've already paid $2,100 for the flight. Like, I don't want to have to pay that again. So if I have to purchase travel insurance and never use it, I still have to protect myself only because I'm traveling solo and if anything happened, I can get my flight and everything taken care of in my luggage and at the hotel. And I also can get to stay there if I do get in contact with somebody with COVID while I'm there. So these are my travel tips, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I do have more videos coming up and um, you guys stay tuned. So beauties, as I was walking through the airport trying to film, it was just like Mexico City. They wouldn't let me, so I can't do nothing about them not letting me film. <clears throat> All I can do is put my camera up. So I'm gonna get in trouble anyway. Hey, beauty gang. Yeah, they stopped your girl from uh, filming. So it's all good. I did what I could. I got you all what I could. And um, like I said, make sure you guys check with the CDC um, during this time if you're traveling until we get past this to see and adhere to any type of um, traveling uh, things that you guys need to do for as testing before and after uh, COVID-19. Even if you're vaccinated, they still want you to be um, tested. You still have to have a test if you're vaccinated. So, um, and just because you're vaccinated, you're still not protected. You still need to wear your mask. Make sure you bring your mask with you. And uh, make sure you do all precautions to take care and protect yourself, your family, whoever is um, that you're traveling with. And I love you guys so, so much for sharing my videos. I really do. It's appreciated. Thanks for the positive feedback. And I'll see you guys in the next one.